So guys, I lived three years in Hawaii. So throughout my Hawaiian adventure, I've learned a lot. Hawaii is completely different, okay? The schools are broken up. The schools have buildings here, here, here. So you have to go outside. People eat their lunch outside. It's like an island feel to it. Obviously, because it's like an island life. You're in Hawaii. I loved it there. I have a lot of friends. I met a lot of people. I loved it there. Mahalo. I visit there whenever I can. So in middle school, right? Let's talk about the lunch ladies. In middle school, right? We would have lunch, obviously, free lunch, because, you know, you get it, you know, school, free lunch. You get free lunch here, and then you also can pay for your lunch as well if you want the upgraded one. So, um, yeah, we were going to lunch, me and my boys, me and my homies, um, and, yeah, we were standing in line. The lunch looked great from afar. As soon as I got closer, the shit started looking like jail food, yo. I was like, hold on, is this, are we in a proper line or is this some bullshit? Because I didn't come here to get treated like a fucking inmate. You feel me? So we would get the food. We would try to get our trays. We would put the bowls. We would give the lunch lady our bowls. And first of all, let me talk about the lunch lady. This bitch. This bitch had an ingrown fucking arm, bruh. That shit looked like she had another bicep. Another tricep under her arm. That shit will wiggle, bro. She be talking shit to her friends and shit. That shit look like she a cock a doodle doo. She finna wake me up early, fucking chicken. You feel me? That shit was nasty, bruh. I was just trying to get my food and I seen that shit. And it, and it smacked the inside of my rice. I was like, this bitch flinging her arms all around. She need to get a personal trainer. She need to fix that shit. Anyway, she took the ball. She put my shit in. She flopped it in. She ain't need to flop it in. You don't need to do all the extra shit, bitch. Just... Put the fucking spoon inside the bowl. You don't need to be all rough with it. <laughs> I mean, okay, it, it's almost Christmas. Treat me like a normal person. Please, bitch. Anyway, she plopped it in there. Everything squirted out, squirted on her face. She act like nothing happened. She act like it was just like it was raining or some shit. Like she couldn't help it. Bitch, if you put it in softly... More softly, you would have been able to help it. You wouldn't have fucking rice stains all over your face, bitch. Looking like Willy Wonka and a chocolate bitch. Come on. Anyway, she did, flopped it in. She handed it to me. She said, here you go. And she rolled my bowl. That's, this is when I was at my tipping point. I was at the top of my peak. I was like, bitch, I'm about to say something to your flabby ass arms. For a quick second, she flung the fucking bowl at me, bro. And it went, woo, woo, woo. you know how it wiggles a little bit? And it wiggled, wiggled, wiggled. And I was like, swear to God, this spill on me. I'm going to fucking go crazy. And then it ended up staying straight. So I guess they practiced that shit because that shit rolled. Looked like a Beyblade. It rolled. And then it went straight in my fucking tray. And I was I was happy. I was okay. I was like, okay, you gave me my you gave me my shit correctly. Like, I don't have no issues with this. As long as shit don't get on me, we cool. So yeah, I went to the next lunch lady. She was like, that'll be $1.50 for this. And I was like, okay, hold on, hold on, bitch. Let me get my money. She was like, hurry up, there's a long line. I'm like, bitch, I, I just reached for my fucking wallet. Slow down, chin. I just reached for my fucking wallet. You gonna tell me to hurry up? I understand it's a long line. I was in the long line, ho. So I continued to reach in from my pocket. I grabbed my wallet, took out my um dollar bills, gave her 150. She was like, you gave me a little extra. Next time, count it up. I was like, bitch, I gave you $2. <laughs> Two dollars. You give me 50 cent back. That's it. That's how life works. You give me change. I give you the dollars. You give me change. Right? Is that how life works? Is that not how life works? Just give me my fucking change, ho. Anyway, I was like, um, yeah, you're supposed to give me change. Obviously, that's exactly what I said to her. And she was like, no need to get smart. You want in school, you want in school, <laughs> I can't even talk. You want in school detention? I was like, nah. No, I don't want in school detention. I was just trying to. Fucking let you know how, how life works. And then she gave my change and she said, look, here you go. Dropped it in my hand, all rude. I was like, this bitch. And I walked in my line, went down, sat down. And then everybody was like, oh, them, them lunch ladies are awesome. They're so nice. And everybody's talking back and forth. I was like, bitch, those ladies treated me like a fucking inmate. What you talking about? What you talking about? Maybe it's the way I look or something or that is that I'm new to the school. Like, what's going on? And then, yeah, so that was my experience with the lunch ladies, man. I had a lot of bad experience with lunch ladies, but that was my worst experience with lunch ladies. 
I just, I don't know, man. I don't understand why they take shit out on us. I mean, you're the one working the job. You feel me? Just like teachers. Why go to your job all mad and irritated and take it out on the students? We didn't do nothing. We're just coming to learn, ho. So I hope you enjoyed day six. Have a great Christmas.